when I saw these clear conditions, I had to go and throw up on the flats for this big floody. Welcome back to my Lawbox, folks. In today's video, we're going to be throwing my own design soft glides on these flats behind me here for some giant flathead right up in the shallows. This could be a lot of fun, folks. Some big hits, good fights, giant flathead. I love this stuff. Let's get into it. Yep, got it. Big head shake. It is a good fish. <laughs> oh, oh, mate. Oh, big boils out there. <laughs> I'm going to try and get a shot at this without putting you right in the... right into the sun. She's a beautiful big fish, this one, folks. Yeah, she's a giant. <laughs> it's it's towing the boat. Oh, mate, this is what I love these soft soft glides for. They are just so dominant on the flats, chasing these giant flathead. And this is a giant. This is a proper one. It's just sitting on the bottom. It doesn't even want to come up. There it goes. Huge big dust storm down there. Oh, the take was so defined too. It was just so punchy the way they grabbed these big glide baits. They hit it to kill it. And that transfers right through the rod. <laughs> wow. What a beautiful big fish. He's just sitting on the bottom. It's so big. towing me around here. I can see her down there, she's huge. Oh, the colours on it. <laughs> Don't get caught on that prop, buddy. Oh, it's trying to take me around, hiding under the boat. Where is she? Yeah, she is a beautiful big, it's high 80s I reckon. High 80s, maybe 90, maybe a 90. There she is, look at this. Right up on the shallow edge. And the way that I got it done was with complete stealth. It was so quiet in here this morning. Oh, come here mate. Look at the size of this beautiful big floody. Don't want to get caught on one of those pneumatophore roots because it'll stick to that and I'll lose the fish. Come here, big floody. Come on, mate. In you go. Oh, she is a brute. Look at the size of this fish. Oh. She is so fat. There is so, so much body in this flathead. Wow. I'll see if I can give you a good look at this thing. She is huge, mate. Oh, it's just so wide. Big shovel head on it. She's not as long as I thought. She's just huge through the body. Look at that. <sighs> Taking this widening soft glide. There you go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put her back in, mate. Oh. Oh, you are huge, buddy. You are a massive fish. Wow. Oh. 
Well, I've been fishing for about another hour across some of these flats and just exploring some edges and things, but I thought I'd just pull over in here. The wind is just sort of starting to get up. The tide's now running out, but I wanted to talk you through why these things are so effective. Now, it, they're such a big lure in comparison to what most flathead fishermen are used to throwing, but using a big profile like this, I'm sure you've seen massive mullet whiting and things moving across the flats. And uh, that land of a mullet, the sound of a mullet landing on the water is a trigger for really big flathead. And it's a sign that there's fish on the move and spooking. And that's what this presents when you throw it out long distances away from the boat. You have this landing sound that's just like a mullet. And then this profile as it slowly fades through the water is the perfect imitation of those big baits. It's got a true tail action, so you can see that. It's a very soft moving tail, and as it falls, it's that subtle action with that tail that entices the really big fish. Now, big flathead have been in these systems seven, eight, nine years, and they're the fish that are really difficult to fool. That's the reason why they're still there and they get so big. So you need something that's really subtle, presents perfectly in a profile and a movement across the flats, just like the real thing. So a vibing lure, something that's really thumping around on the flats and digging into the sand and creating a lot of commotion, often that's not what they're after and not the thing that's going to fool those really wary fish. That's why these are so dominant. I'm going to get back out there and keep going for another hour or so. Hopefully we can pull another fish. Let's go. Oh, yep, there's a big fish. It's big. <sighs> Got to put the anchor in here, I think. Oh. Where are you, biggie? <sighs> Beautiful big fish on the soft glide. Oh. <laughs> well, now I've been watching fish hopping around on these flats here. And I thought I'd whip out the big soft glide. And sure enough, the mullet that were jumping around are calling in these bigger flatheads. <laughs> and they are just so much fun to chase with these big lures. I haven't done a video with these soft glides for a while now. now this is a beautiful flathead. And the take, the take is just something else when you're fishing with those bigger lures. The punch and the take, they just, they hit them to kill them. <laughs> and then it's a beautiful fight. I'm fishing, this is 10 pound line, which is a bit heavier than your regular flathead fishing because sometimes you can pull giants here. This is a nice fish. Let's go in. Beautiful. Oh. There you go. Come on, mate. Get out there. Give us a look at ya. Yeah. It's been hooked on that front EWG. I'll take it. They just monster these big soft glides. That fish is probably 680, I reckon, or 700. Beautiful markings on it. Look at that tail. Aren't they just a stunning fish? The fin structures on them, they got plenty of power when they want to move. They're a whole lot of fun on the flats. And if you haven't chased something this big, it's different to regular school-size flathead fishing. You gotta give it a go. 
You can get my soft guides from my website. I'll put a link under this video on where to get them. And it's got all the details on the packet as to how to fish these, what to look for, heaps of tips to ramp up your flathead fishing. Look at that colors on that. What a beauty. Well, that's it, folks. Make sure you stay tuned to this channel. If you haven't subscribed, get on it because I've got some fantastic new lures coming over the next few months. You're going to love them. If you love your big flathead, Murray Cod, Jewfish, Barra, and Mangrove Jack, there's some great stuff on its way. It's all coming soon. I'll see you in the next one.